see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Meter, if you would. Too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of Marco whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. And the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. 
malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> Who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. <laughs> <laughs> 